Former president also playing cleanup yesterday after posting a Nazi phrase on his website and suggesting restrictions on contraception in an interview. Rachel Scott has the story. Good morning, Rachel. Hey, George, good morning to you. Former President Donald Trump was asked directly whether he would support restrictions on birth control. The former president said it was something they were looking at, only to backtrack hours later. This morning, Donald Trump walking back his comments, suggesting he's open to restricting birth control if reelected. Do you support any restrictions on a person's right to contraception? Well, we're looking at that, and I'm going to have a policy on that very shortly. And I think it's something that you'll find interesting. And it's another issue that's very interesting. But you will, uh, you will find it, I think, very smart. I think it's a smart decision. But we'll be releasing it very soon. In an interview with a local Pittsburgh TV station, the former president asked to clarify if that meant he would, in fact, support restrictions on contraception. You may want to support some restrictions. Like the morning well, we, after pill or something. We are, we are also, you know, things really do uh, have a lot to do with the states. And some states are going to have different policies than others. The Biden campaign seizing on those words, saying women across the country are already suffering from Donald Trump's post row nightmare. And if he wins a second term, it's clear he wants to go even further. And then hours later, Trump backtracked, writing on social media he has never and will never advocate imposing restrictions on birth control or other contraceptives. But that's something he never made clear in the interview. The former president often boasts about appointing three of the five Supreme Court justices that overturn Roe versus Wade, clearing the way for 21 states to ban or restrict access to abortion. We broke Roe v. Wade. Just weeks ago, Trump told Time magazine he wouldn't intervene if states wanted to monitor or punish pregnant women seeking abortion, saying it's irrelevant whether I'm comfortable or not. It's totally irrelevant because the states are going to make those decisions. There are still major questions about whether the former president supports further restricting access to the abortion pill mifepristone, which is used in more than half of abortions in the United States. Trump said he would release his position weeks ago, and he still has not done so, Michael. Yep, still waiting there. Still waiting, Rachel. Thank you.